Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am dying to know. Mm. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, 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 good. I'm hungry. I'm still rattled. I oh, know. I'm still rattled from our live stream. So this is the third video we've shot now after our live stream, which oh. we did at six o'clock this morning. Yeah, and and uh, when we had no volume on our laptop and I... Oh, man. Anyway, oh yeah. Sorry to and, everyone who sat and, through that. Uh, there's some comments on the on the channel already about it, so we do apologise. We do know there was no volume, and we're very sorry. And um, Trish did an amazing job in fixing it. I didn't know what to do. Because I was just like a, a startled deer in headlights, like ah, oh, okay. Oh. So anyway, sorry. Huh. We are amateurs. We've never claimed to be anything, but. I know it's obvious and we don't need to say that. <laughs> anyway, you, that's just, you know, we're here to deliver the information yep. and sometimes we get it out and sometimes, obviously, we don't. Anyway, okay. so today, what are we talking about? I've forgotten already. Uh, oh, no, I have forgotten. You haven't. Yeah, I have. It's not in there. What are we talking the about? Are oh, the dead? Are oh, the dead? Are they dead? Are they dead? Are they dead? Okay, so the live stream brought up an interesting point. Uh, somebody commented and said something about how do you know they that they're dead, dead before, the before cremation. they go for cremation. And so we thought we'd do a little video. Uh, Tracy had the great idea of doing a video on the ways that she knows that people have deceased when they come into her mortuary, apart from the fact that a doctor signed off on them. So let's just ignore that little legal medical fact. <laughs> a doctor has signed off and given them a time of death. So that's a pretty good indicator. They've got paperwork saying they're dead. But mm -hmm. apart from that, how do you know that they're dead and they're not just in a coma or sleeping or, mm. you know, unconscious? Well, the most classic sign of somebody that's been dead for a little while. I'm sorry, I find this. <laughs> Are you going to say that they're not breathing? No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> But yeah, they're not breathing. They don't breathe when they're. They're certainly not breathing. Okay, but no, the sorry. The most classic sign is rigor mortis. Right. If you're unconscious, you won't get rigor mortis because you haven't died and your cells aren't breaking down. So the minute you die, the minute, the second, minute. the very second you die, decomposition is starting. Right. Instantly. So bacteria is doing the bacteria that keeps you alive is suddenly going, nope, we're now dead. We're doing the different things to what we normally do and bacteria starts to rampage through the body. And the first thing to set is rigor mortis and it's a chemical reaction into the muscles. So the muscles get locked and they get locked pretty And so the, we're talking from four hours to... So the rigor mortis can set in anywhere between four to six hours. Right, so and last four? 78 hours naturally. Sorry, 78. Yeah. 78 hours naturally. Naturally, without any Interve intervention of yeah. massaging the joints, naturally it'll dissipate after that. In 78 hours after that happens, you would definitely know because we've got then purple uh, liver mortis and everything's already happening too. So, you so that's definitely... the staining of the skin when yeah. the blood is pooling yeah. towards the skin because it's not pumping because the person is dead. And it's gravitating to the lowest yes. point wherever the body is. So usually their back if they're lying on their yeah. back. Yeah. So the whole back side mm -hmm. of their body will be stained pinky. Pinky colour, mm. yeah, and you'll get that with the liver mortis, which is the staining of where all the fluids just directly gone to whatever part of the body is contact with the ground. But say we got them in four, five, six hours after death, rigor mortis is definitely the, the most obvious number one point. And also the fingertips, they usually go like a really bright purple and that's because the circulation has stopped first in the, the very ends because your body slowly shuts down from the outside Extremities. In, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to go, and you'll get that liver mortis is on the fingertips, mm -hmm. and they always go this bright, purpley, deep, dark colour, where the fluid's just sitting at the end. Of and the does chest. that go away itself? You can massage it away, and it'll, you know, massage it and get rid of that in the first few hours after death. If it's there for a long, long, long time, it'll stain in the skin stain, so you can't really move unless you embalm and you can right. get it out. From right, right, okay. Second way you know that they're dead. The second way is, one, the mouth's usually wide open, the eyes are wide open, and the uh, pupils are fixed, and the, the eyes have already turned milky. 
So our eyes go back to like a, a bluey, milky colour. So your brown eyes, my brown eyes would go to a bluey, milky colour. If, so it looks like you've got cataracts. So basically the eyes look like they've got cataracts. Clouded over. Clouded over. Within a few hours they start to cloud over, but the fix, the pupils are fixed. There's this little tiny little black dots. Your pupils are not opening, not closing, but they're fixed. You know, as a way they look, do life extinct, they'll mm. shine a light in the pupils and they're definitely not moving. Um, so that's the before I touch the body is so that's the first two indicators. So they're really are good indicators that okay. this person is definitely dead. Third indicator. Oh, I don't know. What's the third indicator? When you touch the body? Well, well when you touch the body is cold. After how long? Um, after death. After death. Oh, it depends on it where depends they've been, on obviously. where they've been and if they're not wrapped up in a heated room and all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, the extremities feel cold pretty quickly. Yeah, the arms and the hands. The torso will stay warm for a long time, but the extremities But unnaturally feel, cold, not just like, yeah. oh, I've got chilly hands yeah, cold. Yeah, no, they'll feel really cold, yeah. So that's another thing is when you touch them. So let me quickly reverse back here. If I get somebody in from a nursing home that's just died two hours ago, they're fresh, as in then this the rigor mortis hasn't set in. They're warm. They're warm. They are moving them easily because the rigor mortis hasn't set. The, the eyes are set, you know, the pupils are just small. There's nothing happening, you know, the wide open. Are they the milky lights. yet? They're not quite milky yet, but you can... The, the color, they're lifeless. The, you can tell there's nothing there. It's just really, it's weird. The colour's still there. They've still got that colour. But you can just tell it's... This, it's like an empty window, you know, there's nothing through there, it's gone. When I do get them really warm, because I really don't like to touch a warm body, as I've said before, um, I will just check to make sure, like, it's not like, because I know they've got life extinct forms, we've got the paperwork signed by the nurses or the doctors, and because they're a little bit warm, I always put my hand on the chest, and it was funny, but I just put my hand on the chest, and you know, I'm like, yeah, but there's no movement anywhere. The body's not moving. And the the skin seems to dehydrate really quickly as well on the tips of the fingers too. So that's another another uh, indicator that they're definitely dead. So, okay, so if you get past all of that, yeah, right, and they're cold now to touch and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. yeah, what would be the next indicator? Okay, so the next indicator is when I, I prepare a so one. The body's been in the fridge probably before I touch them. Normally twenty four hours, longer two three days, you know. So they still haven't moved. They still haven't moved. They're changing colour. Yeah, they are definitely changing colour. So I'll get them out, unwrap them, and there's liver mortises definitely there. Fingertips are a bit purple. Rigor mortises in, can't move them. Definitely got rigor. Got a massage out. Do all that. Wash them to move the rigor. Um, if they were still alive, once I start doing the face prep, they would definitely wake up because. One, I'm cleaning the eyes out with cotton inside the eyes. You imagine that. So you can imagine like cotton uh, covered in disinfectant going wrap, like going right under your eyelids, inside your eyeballs, right round. So if you don't wake up with that going round your eyes, I don't know what will there because the cotton's going down the back of the throat and clean out the mouth, you know, and now I've got the cotton in and I'm squirting disinfectant into the mouth and into the nose and eyes. If you're not waking up for that, you you know, definitely dead. And the other thing is, once I start suturing the mouth and the needle goes in through the first uh, incision here, I think you're going to feel it. I think you're really going to feel it. And then by the time I do the incision through the nose and then back out through the mouth, there's just too many processes to know for definite that that person is definitely dead. There's just the indications just before you even touch it as a is the skin colours changed, the uh, eyes are changing, the eyes aren't moving at all, the mouth's open. We used to, remember we did that video ages and ages ago where we looked at some of the old-fashioned methods they used to test if a body yes. was alive and they do things like, what well, was one of them was take a nick, nick the nick jugular, the jugular and, and see if they bleed. bleed. <laughs> so right. if you weren't already deceased... Yeah. That would help you on your way, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, lick the jugular, see if it gushed out. If it gushed out, you're still alive. There was one that said put a glass, glass, of, water a glass of water on the chest. See if it moves. And if it moves like Jurassic Park style, the like ripples, the then there's something going on in there. Yeah, a band around the fingers as well. Stop circulation. To see if the colour changes. Yes. 
you know you wouldn't want any of those to be your only method of determining if someone was dead like no. thankfully now doctors and nurses and people have got stethoscopes and they can listen and they can yeah. test for breathing yeah. and they can go it's merry merry and they do merry. the uh, sternum test yes. as well which is that knuckle into yeah. your sternum which is very painful just a slight press into your like sternum here yeah. really painful they do it they can do that and that's like because you know when people have had accidents and they, they, <gasps> they, they're yeah. faint or something they do the sternum thing to check and they'll bring them they'll go <gasps> and so they'll know that they're like, unconscious and not because you'll still be aware of that being unconscious but when you're not aware of that once you've died oh, no so yeah we'll guarantee that i've never prepared a body that's woke up ever you, know, you do hear of it that. and you do see it and everybody in the comments will go, oh, I saw this on the internet and somebody woke up in yeah. a freezer and whatever. And yes, I guess that can... And, but that's the, the, the point there is these people have wake woken up. up in the... They haven't been prepared. They haven't gone through the process of being prepared. These people are waking up... Because they're cold because in the freezer they're or in because the freezer they're... Or they're on the table just about to be prepared... You know, and I did hear a story not long ago of a, a, a girl that woke up in her coffin. Well, maybe she just had a wash and dress and they didn't do a prep as in do the whole prep. They just maybe sit down and put her... Unfortunately, she died just shortly after because it's a it's a medical thing that happens to the body. It's a delayed death. Right. So that actually they are dying and, they, you know, they, she got rushed back to hospital. So they present as dead. Yeah. Then they wake up. Yeah. And, and then they actually then die. And they actually die. So <sighs> she got rushed to hospital. I think it was in Mexico or something. And it was a few months ago. And they tried to revive her. But she died. You know, she was basically dead. So that maybe because she was a small girl, they didn't do any face prep or the normal. Probably just did a wash and a dress and put her in a coffin. Um you know that but but generally generally when you've heard the stories they're usually waking up in the cold room so they usually they've done that you know gone into that state of um there's a word for it i can't remember where you go into that state of the body so uh unconscious that every sign of life is not there but then they come back but it's but once you've been prepared you know you'll wake up you'll wake up if somebody's cleaning the eyes we can't with disinfectant. All right, yes. thanks for that. So there yeah. you go. Don't be afraid. Nobody's going to try and prepare you when you're still alive. No, we're not going to do that. And I'm sure it's not something you want to do either. I absolutely don't want to do that, no. Yeah. So thanks for your questions. Keep them coming in. Just yeah. be aware we've got a big surge in subscribers at the moment, which is great. Hello to all the new people. Yes, thanks hello. for joining us. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, we're getting to your comments as we can. Yeah. So please be patient because yeah. there's a lot of you. But yes, it's yeah. lovely and we love them and we do read them and we, we need your questions to keep this channel going so if there's something that you want to know to ask Tracy please send them in and uh, you can contact us on email you can contact us in the comments below yep. um, and uh, on Instagram, and on Instagram. so yep. we'll see you there see you around all right guys bye bye